My next guest is a model, a bilingual television host, a fashion designer, and a life coach with a huge following on social media. And now Rosie Mercado is also the author of a brand new book titled Girl with the Self-Esteem Issues. Her life has been a roller coaster and she's here to share some of what she's learned along the journey with you. I want to welcome Rosie right here to the floor. Rosie, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Glad you're here. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to chat with you. Well, I want to address something that I know everybody at home is thinking right now after seeing you here and seeing the cover of your book. What do you mean you had self-esteem issues? Girl, it is a journey to love yourself and find yourself and just come into your own skin and walk the journey and walk your authentic truth. It really is. And it's for everyone. You just don't know what people are going through. You don't know what people are going through. And for you, it started at about age 19. You were newly married, brand new baby. And then what happened? My husband disappeared. He 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 went went off. I never saw him again. And there I am, a young mother, brand new mother with self-esteem issues, trying to figure out my emotions, who I am, and raise a child at the same time. So, I think just the the loss of love and the and the loss of myself through wanting a relationship so bad and motherhood and everything thrown into one in that roller coaster was. A stretching point but also taught me a lot and there's just the journey of self-healing that I didn't go through at the beginning that took me to my next failed relationship so there's just so much to learn when you when you don't know who you are you don't know your value you don't know your worth and you don't know how to deal with your self-esteem and you don't know how to deal with your emotions at the same time you were going through relationship issues your body was also going through a lot you were gaining a lot of weight and you were very honest about that in this book the best relationship you will have in your life is the relationship with yourself. And when you don't take care of yourself, when you don't love yourself, when you don't understand your worth, you will tolerate anything that's given. Um, you will confuse attention with love. You will um, confuse, you know, passion with love. You will make so many assumptions of what, you know, what you're willing to tolerate just to, in order to have a little bit of love. And the problem there was that I didn't love myself enough. I didn't respect myself enough. And you could tell physically because I got to the point that I was 420 pounds. I went through abusive relationships um, physically and emotionally, and it really brought me to, to my knees, to my rock bottom, where I needed to understand, first of all, that my voice mattered, that I had a right and I was worthy to have love in my life. But it started with me, with my relationship, from taking care of myself, my emotional health, my physical health. It was really a journey that taught me that I needed to learn how to love myself and have a relationship with myself and date myself and know that there's time for everything. There's perfect timing in everything. You tell people in the book to stop reacting and start creating. What do you mean by that? I think we're so quick to, to react to everything. You know, someone's looking at me and it's because that, that uh, we give it a story. We sometimes we give it a negative story. It's what we, people jump into. And I just feel that as life goes on and things happen, you know, things that we don't want, things that we invite, things that we tolerate, things that we accept, um, we're constantly reacting. And I think our focus shouldn't be on reacting to why someone did something. The question is, what can I learn from the situation and how can I become better? What did this teach me? So next time when something comes around like this, I know how to be prepared. I know how to handle the situation. And if I see a red flag, I could redirect and make a better decision, a healthy decision based off of that. And I think really it's, it's our responsibility. Our own life is our own responsibility to create what we want have clarity in writing the things that we want, where we're going, where we see ourselves, and start aligning our spirit and our mind with that and start doing step-by-step, step, one step at a time, start living by that truth. Rosie Mercado, thank you so much for your time again. The book is called The Girl with the Self-Esteem Issues. I'm so glad to see you on this incredible journey to health and to success, and we really do wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Don't forget, your voice matters. Your voice certainly does matter. And I do want to let people know where they can find her book. Rosie says it's available everywhere books are sold.